Good morning. Welcome to California School. Our school does not only excel in academic results but also in various curriculum activities. We develop students' social skills, social skills, sports skills. Thank you, you all. Now we get started with our 19th school open day. Please ensure that all mobile phones and beeping devices are turned off. Thank you. I request the member of the executive party please come onto the stage. Filipino people are pretty happy of Malay origin. 
but also include Chinese, Indonesian, Moros, and Africans. Tagalog is the national language that majority of the Filipinos speaks like me, but there are also many native languages spoken. The majority of people are Christians, but the, but there are also many native but are Christians. The total population is 90 million and 55% of the Filipinos are farmers. The living plants are rice, coconut, corn, and sugar cane. The islands also are rich in mineral resources like wheat, nickel, zinc, copper, and gold. So these are the things about my homeland. And you're all welcome to visit. So these are the things about the visit. And you're all welcome to visit my homeland. Thank you.
So the question is, can our system really be safe? Yes, it can. Can we prevent the islands of wildlife from disappearing? Yes, it, we can. Can we prevent the killing of these poor little innocent fragile animals? Yes, we can. Can we save our ecosystem? Yes, we can. So my friends, I hope everyone will give a small helping hand and try to contribute to the society. Because many drops of water creates a mighty ocean. Even if you give a small healthy hand, helping hand to our new system, it will create a better place for us to live. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. I know a large amount of computer diplomas. We now invite our honorable guest, Mr. Atiko Rehman, Director of International Studies, University of California, to come forward and present the awards to the students. who pass in computer subjects in Form 5 and Form 7. I would like to call Lakshin Form 5 students. The students sing this one. Well. Now, I would love, like to call last year's for seven students. These students will be receiving their computer diplomas for passing their computer subject in Form 6 and Form 7. Javed Iqbal. Thank you. A lot of medals for best speakers and best 
football captain in school. In annual debate competition, there are two teams. Each team has got one captain, one first speaker, one second speaker, and they will start first speakers. Junior group. Junior debate called best captain. Harun Abbas Sayyid. Last 
Good. Thank you. Please. 
Thank you. Moving on to the next award. The award for best goalkeeper goes to To press this one. This recording. This recording stuff. Duties for my wife, Red House leader, the last thing who will come on the stage to make a lot of achievement. It had some problem. This class of the term. Form 7. Form 3. Form 7. We now invite Mr. Bhuti Bahadu Thapa. Chairman of the Indian Society to come forward and present the award to the winners. For this award day, I am very proud to introduce you the best class of the term. Form 7. Please give a big hand to Form 7. Wait a minute. Form this 7. award is also secret. Oh my god. It's a please no one know who the winners are. Wow. Can you make any guess? Form 7.
five cultural components. I hope that the image of order will be carefully observed in the performance because it is the job to decide which one is the best at the end of the program.
he has arrived. I kindly ask you all to rise and remain standing. Thank you. We are on behalf of all the opponents, teachers and management team, welcome all parents, guests and above all, our chief guest of honor, Honorable Mr. Chan Yuk Singh. Now, let us introduce you to the member of the Gentile Party. On my left, we have Mr. Pravel Rakhter. So, on my left, we have Mr. Pravel Rakhter. Mr. Pravel Rakhter, Mr. Pravel Rakhter, Mr. Pravel Rakhter, International Semi University of California. Mr. Wong Yin Chen, Principal Staff Member of Central Government China. Mr. Nani Rahman, NH, Patent California School. Mr. Alfred Ali, Executive Director of California School. Council Hong Kong. His Excellency, Honorable 
Chang Yuk Sen studied in Hong Kong and passed his top 5 HCCE with 6 A grades. He obtained Bachelor's of Art from the Hong Kong University in 1968. He started teaching and became principal of Pui Middle School in 1986. In 1992, on the level, Chen Yuk-sen founded the Alliance for the betterment of Hong Kong, the biggest political party in Hong Kong. In 2003, on the level, Chen Yuk-sen gave the reign of the DAT to Mr. Honorable Chen Yuk-sen. Five years later, in 2005, in 2008, Mr. Honorable Chen Yuk-sen was elevated to his present position to the President of the Legislative Council. Prior to Hong Kong returns to China, Honorable Chen Yuk-sen actively participated in JLG activities to ensure smooth transition. He was member of the Preparatory Committee for Hong Kong Special Administration Region. As Honorable Chen Yu Sen always worried about Hong Kong, he devoted his full energy in the committee to ensure there was no problem after British had left Hong Kong on 1st July 1997. You do not need, you do not need, you do not need me to the that Mr. efforts have gone through. Today, you see, Hong Kong is much more prosperous society compared with the last year. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Chen Yu is the first leader in Hong Kong to take care of ethnic minorities in 1990, since 1995. Since ever, he is the only leader who has attended the most Pakistan in at least Indian and Bangladeshi functions. Today, Honorable Chen Yu is still devoted to Hong Kong. He is not only the president of the Legislative Council, but he is also a member of the committee, member of the committee, Chinese Political Consultative Conference. In other words, he is representing Hong Kong peoples in China. Of course, this goes on and on. But I shall stop here because my school friends are eagerly waiting to receive their award. But before that, I want to tell parents and students His Excellency Honorable Chen Yuk Sen first came to attend our school's 8th over day in February 2000. Today, he has so kindly come back to us after 11 years because he has a cordial relationship with our principal. I wish to point out that he is extremely busy in past 10 days. As you all know that, he might be applying for CE in the next week. Please join me, His Excellency, join me to welcome His Excellency, Mr. Jasper Chan Yusin, to come forward and present the award to our worthy students.
Thank you. Maria Award and certificate 
for excellent first term average 2011-2012. Can you please go? Our active year is divided into three terms. First term, second term and third term. Everywhere, supervisor special award for excellent first term average is given by the supervisor to those students who have obtained first position in the first term. But not only that, in addition, they must also get a grant average of over 80%. Abigail Benemariano, Primary 2.
Ronald. <laughs> and I got to you as well. Stand up and take the picture. Yes, you can take the
was given on the school day after the Chinese New Year. School day was held on first February 2011 in Kowloon Thai Sport Ground. A word of best house president. Abdul. On our first day, our school had divided the students into three houses. Red house, blue house and green house. Every house had one president to manage, organize and control their group. Each house competed with each other. Depending on their number of medals, they got the point. According to the California School Sports Committee, 2011-2012, the best house president is Abdul Rehman Zakawala Pinkan. Abigail May Mirano.
obtain grade B. Adrian S. Miranil. Obtain grade B. Jakey Ganwad. Obtain grade B. Malaika P. Asker M. M. Nafisul Haq Is 
one of all two students from the third continent obtained 27 points from UK examinations. Please give a big round of applause to my senior schoolmate, Sadiqa. myself, 
I know the huge amount of hard work your teachers and you yourselves must have done to achieve what we see today. My special congratulations to all the young Californians who have received the awards on the stage. I can see that you now are carrying bags full of trophies, medals, uh, award certificates, prizes and gifts. Congratulations. Well done. But I must give my warmest congratulations to the school, to the teachers, and for the parents who have confidence in the school and who have shared their support in the past years. I'd like to say a few words to the parents in particular. As the MC has mentioned, I have been involved with policy issues concerning ethnic minorities for a number of years now. Education for the children of ethnic minorities has always been among one of the main, it has always been among the main concerns of the education panel of the Legislative Council of Hong Kong. The topic of education for ethnic minorities has often been discussed in the panel, in the education panel, and it has been discussed very recently. It is heartening to see that our ethnic minorities' parents understand the importance of education for their children. And indeed, there is no better thing to give to our children than a good education. And California School is doing good work. It's doing good work for all our parents. I understand the special difficulties your children must overcome when they compete with other local students. And my colleagues in the Legislative Council have always been criticizing the government for not doing enough for non-Chinese students in Hong Kong. And the criticisms, most of them, are well-founded. But I must point out, there is no easy solution to the problems that education for ethnic minority children is faced with. There are education principles and social practicalities that are in conflict with each other. Educationally, we all know that the most efficient medium of instruction is the child's mother tongue. That is why the Hong Kong government has been advocating mother tongue teaching for many years now. But for the non-Chinese, speakers in Hong Kong, especially non Chinese speakers whose mother tongue is not English either. There is simply no viable curriculum for them to learn in their own mother language. For them to learn either in Chinese or in English would pose additional handicaps. And that is why they always suffer a disadvantage when they compete with other local students. If we try to teach ethnic minority children in their own mother tongue, however, 
they will suffer another kind of disadvantage because the lack of exposure to the most common language in Hong Kong, which is Chinese, and to English, would put them in a very serious disadvantage when it comes to going for higher education or seeking jobs in the community. It remains a fact that proficiency in Chinese and in English as well is a very important factor in job seeking in Hong Kong. So there is always this dilemma whether in order to achieve the best efficiency in teaching we should use as much as the child's mother tongue as possible or whether to immerse the child at a very early stage in a Chinese or English media environment so that he or she can get to learn this foreign language, a foreign language to the child as early as possible and to achieve as high a standard as possible. It doesn't help very much if we ask the government to provide an alternative Chinese or English service for our non-Chinese speaking children. For even if a child achieves a very high result in an alternative Chinese service, for example, the employers know, the higher education institutions know that their score their Chinese standard is of an inferior level. And so that will put them in a disadvantaged, disadvantaged position. So this is a very difficult problem for the education authorities to consider. And this now manifests itself in the question of how schools should be allocated. Non-Chinese speaking children, which schools should they go to? Should they go to special designated schools to be taught with their peers in their own language or in English? Or should they be allocated to mainstream schools to be taught in Chinese mainly so that they can get to know Chinese as early as possible. Now I know California School is doing a very good job in educating our students to become all-rounded, to learn the English language as best as they can and also to achieve good results in various academic subjects. I hope that there will be more schools like California schools, and I hope that schools like California schools, including your school, uh, will have more assistance from the government, more encouragement from the government. And this brings, brings us to the second problem, the allocation of resources. The different political parties in the Legislative Council are unanimous in urging the government to allocate more resources for the education of non-Chinese children, of ethnic minority children in Hong Kong. For the simple reason that they need more assistance to overcome more hurdles than the Chinese speaking children. But there are all kinds of special education needs in Hong Kong. We must allocate more resources for those who are needful. But when it comes to different kinds of needs among our young children, there can be very keen competition. At present, we understand that the Education Bureau is not nearly doing enough 
for the ethnic minorities. But others are asking for more resources, for example, for the mentally handicapped, for the physically handicapped, for all kinds of special needs as well. And although our government, the Hong Kong government, has a very good financial position, the authorities, they have to maintain the balance. So, it is a long course. We have to keep on working closely with all the parents and with the government to find the best way forward to shape a good education policy for the young children of our ethnic minorities, for your younger generation. When the place like Hong Kong, upward social mobility can only come from good education. So, to conclude, let me commend the California School again for the efforts they have been making for the good work they have done for the ethnic minority families in Hong Kong. And let us work together, let us support the school and work together so that we can see a better future for our education and for our younger generation. I invest the reported victory party to move down on the front row of our heart. Please, sir. Now it's over. What the? Epic fail. Epic. It's epic fail. Okay, no, it's okay. <coughs> I, I would like to invite one of our primary students, Mr. Jahan Hakkari, to, to give a vote of thanks to our Honorable Chief Guest of Honor, Mr. Jaffer Chan Yuk Singh. I will you take it? Uh, it's painting. What's your name? To all of you. The Honorable Chief Guest of Honor, Mr. Jasper Chen Yok Singh. Today is my pleasure to be here Funny. to thank you on behalf of the standby, my man. First of all, you? I thank you for taking on the <laughs> One perform is not recorded. I don't know how to use this, man. On behalf of the school, the Honorable has also kindly given gifts and hours to my fellow Californians. Your word for our future will surely be in your heart for a long time to come. I assure you, my students and I myself will remember your brotherly advice. Those all of here today will agree with me that their presence has been a great boon to the school functions. Now I invite one of my fellow Californians, Amar Zed, to present our token of thanks. Miss Mubaki. Is there any other way to do something? Please, please. Go. No battery. Thank you for that. What's up? You come stand here. The camera.
Thank you, sir, and I'm with you. Before I finish, I would like to thank, I would sorry. like to request you to grant us a special holiday to commemorate no. this wonderful school open day. No better, sir. Since everybody has been working very hard and the students are doing so well, may I ask the management uh, committee and uh, Mr. Akta to grant the school a holiday? <laughs> Two days. No. Ask him. It is holiday, man. It's out of battery, man. Sunny. Look, almost. It's in charge, right? Um, huh? His Excellency, Honorable Chen Yu Singh, is an extremely busy person. He has to attend another function very shortly. So uh, he will be. Departing the hall, so the rest of you please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Close! Yo, you, you, it was in standby. Bill. Cutting close. Wait, dude, it was in standby, I didn't know, man.
Give it right. Bring your pocket back. Who's this? Raymond.
Jenny Gareva, Sina Guru, and Anna Hug. Who's going to have it? And you
Nigel Vigoro, also picked for the seven points. All of them are actually in the uh, progressed universities. And uh, Sadiqa has recently graduated. So, uh, Tamzila is still in university. Uh, Nigel is also in university in the uh, United States. Sadiqa, uh, Sadiqa graduated from University uh, Benedict College of Kansas City, United States in 2008. And now uh, she is back in Hong Kong. She is still doing her uh, master's degree at Baptist University. So now, uh, after getting uh, so many qualifications, a student of California School become qualified mm. to okay. issue the most uh, secret award, as the MC told you, of each open day. So it is the student of the year award. So now I will let Sadiqa uh, handle the rest. So the nominee is for 2011 and 2012 are Shuhei Pasen, Shuhei Pasen, Jaspi Singh Jaswal, Santo Kurang, Vilas Rimbu, Asma Bibi, Joey Pijoyo, Thank you. 
qualified criminal bench and ex senior uh, very highly qualified student with the current uh, senior qualified students.
follow this changes dealing with the transition please transition to more new things and then come back in the future से बात करो